want to know how I got five extra levels on my character from notes? Well, I'll show you today and we'll get straight into it. Hello everybody, my name is Kara on Fire and welcome to my ARC channel. Today we're going to be looking into this ARC topic on ARC Survival Ascended Scorched Earth. For more videos like these, if you could subscribe, that would help me greatly. So let's get straight into it. So I was enjoying Scorched Earth playing around on my other playthrough and I looked in my inventory to, well, get rid of myself. One thing I noticed in here that I didn't notice before somehow was that it said right at the bottom there, all Bob's tall tale explorer notes found equals plus five maximum levels to your character. That is the one that you get the DLC from, which in my opinion, it's kind of crazy because you have to pay for this to be a thing which is uh something else but that is a topic for another day that we are not delving into we're just going to simply go over the levels because that is quite a touchy subject so yeah i noticed that this was a thing if you collect literally 10 notes that you would be able to level up five more times once you hit maximum so if we look at my inventory here at explorer notes for bob's stuff you can see I need to collect 11 Bob's Tails to be able to get this extra five levels. Now the prologue one, number two, that's what you'll get when you log in and create a brand new character on Scorched Earth either way. So when you do that with the DLC installed, I will say you do need the DLC, the Bob's Tall Tail ones, to be even able to get these extra five levels. Once you got that and you like create your character, log in, watch the Helena thing, you'll be able to watch Bob's Tall Tales and get that Explorer note off the bat. And then comes the other 10 that you need to find. Well, we'll start off with one right now, which is going to be right here on the map. I'm going to show you all the locations of these Bob Tall Tales. And at the end, I'll show you the whole entire movie if you want to watch it with me too. But this is at 76, 78 in a little tiny ruin in the middle of the desert. So we pop into this building, you can see there it right is. It is the Bob's Tall Tales number nine in these tiny little painted chests. You'll find them all over the map in different places and in both of the brand new caves as well. I will say as well as this, when you collect these notes, they give you the special Explorer note found buff as well. So you get a good amount of XP for picking them up regardless, even if you are not going for the five levels or if you are, they are really good. Either way, our next one is in this kind of location at the top of a crystal and metal mountain. This is the Bob Box number 10 we're looking for here today. And if I have a look on the map right here, you can see we're kind of close to Red Obby at 54.34. I'm now going to fly up to kind of show you a little bit better of a map location reference. So you can see we have this hill and you can see there's the Red Obby. Obby, obby. <laughs> and you can see what's kind of like around us so that is the mountain we're going to next location is nice and easy to get to kind of close to green ob by one of these big mountainous cliffs in the center of the map if we pop up here and this ruin where you'll most likely find most of them you're going to see number eight is settled right here by this tiny little ruin nice and easy to find and if we have a look at our map right here you can see 6966 is the place we need to go not far from there is our next one as well it's not too much of a struggle to get here but it's on another one of these mountainous cliffs you can see green up in the background and if we have a look around in this kind of corner over here let's approach it it's quite a hidden one actually but it's not too bad to get to this is bob's tales number seven and if we kind of have like a little zoom out here to kind of have a look at what we're looking at here you can see it's on this mountain right above where you'd get bees and the cave. So if we go back down again, I'll show you the map coordinates of this location. So the place you're looking for is 5646. This next one is also pretty nice to find and we're popping near the hills of Blue Obelisk. So if we pop over here, there's this ruin that we can approach. And here it is, Bob's Tall Tales number six. So if we zoom up a bit from here, you can see down below is the other mountain where we pick one up and it's just right at the top of this really, really tall high peak. So you do have to go up pretty far to get this one. There is a road here though, so that makes it a little bit better, I suppose. 
We're on the map. We are looking at 3930. Luckily enough, not that far away from where we were just at is another one in a metal farming location, which is really awesome, which is Bob's Tall Tales number five, the box we're looking for. So we have another float up to show where we are. We see the Bob box down there. You can see the big dunes down there. Massive cliff. And again, we're even closer to Blue Wobby this time. And that is where you'd be wanting to go, which is really nice. So we pop down for a map reference. This one is hanging out at 1923. Now let's head the other side of the scar where an old abandoned arena and city are. Today, you can see it right there with the manticore and all that. But just on the pathway down the city is another Bob box. And this one is number four. You can go ahead and find another one you can find on the outside. And we get to the cave ones shortly. But here you go. If you want number four, nice and easy to find, honestly, because the arena is so close by. This is at 8314. Going further inland from there, but very close to an obelisk, is our next Bob Tall Tales little note in this little ruin right here. As you can see, number three sits comfortably in this tiny little ruin by Red Obby. Now, if we go up a bit, you can see it's quite an isolated ruin. There's not really much around it, but you should be able to get to it from the obelisk to find this ruin itself, which is pretty nice. So we have a look on our map for a map reference this is by 7436. The next place we're going is the Scar because there's actually a Bob Box in one of the brand new caves in Scorched Earth. I'm going to give you a location to get into the cave, which is 5916, straight off the bat. Very dangerous location to come to as it's right in the middle of the Scar, so definitely be careful. But we're looking for this type of entrance here that you could probably fly a little bit into, but just be careful because the wyverns could fly in also. Now this is a buildable cave, so you can actually build in it funny enough, but if we go right inside, you don't actually have to go that far in. There's actually a couple of dossiers in here actually if you wanted to. But if we go right in here, we follow it down into this lavery hell hole, which is actually pretty nice actually, I'm not gonna lie in here, there's like water and everything if you're thirsty. If we go around the corner here, you can see Bob box number two, you can go ahead and grab. This cave is also cool to explore, so definitely do so. For another map location, though, once you're inside, it's at 5914. And let's go and see our last one, which you might need some flippers, lassie chowder, or a scuba mask to get into. You come in right to Red Obelisk here. And basically where we're going is a water cave inside of Red Obby. So we go down, I'm going to go right in here, right down, and then follow the big crystal down on the floor. Then you'll follow it along with some loot crates you can pick up in here. And then you're going to go up, there's this area here. And if we follow this through, there we go, you can see these two tips here. Basically where you want to go, if you can, maybe you want to grapple here or something. See that waterfall right there? We want to go near the top of it. So what I would suggest is grappling, if I'm honest with you guys, because that would be the easiest way to get up here. It's either that or go around the houses and park all your way up there. But basically the place we're looking for is this little one right here, number one in the oasis cave right by the entranceway. So that is really nice right there. For a map reference on this one, this one is at 7437. Just remember you have to be inside the cave to pick it up. And that will be all the Bob's Tall Tales that you can go ahead and pick up. And boom, like that, you have now got five extra levels on your character because you did that. That little bit of work for five more levels for the maximum on your character. Which is kind of crazy, if I'm honest with you guys, but that's how they've decided to do it. So, if you do want them, then there you go. It will say all Bob's Tall Tales Explorer and it's found plus five max levels. So there we go, that is it, and uh, that's the whole thing. Very, very nice. Now we're going to go and watch them in order, all together, from prologue to one, two, three, to ten, and enjoy. So, after that island, where did you go next? Oh, we bet it was somewhere exciting. Before we keep going, I was thinking maybe you want to let your dad know where you ran off to. I don't want to think about him at all. I want to hear more stories. 
Uncle Bob. Uh, okay, okay. How about a story with spurs and six shoes and all that? Yeah, that sounds wild. Darling, you don't know the half of it. But whatever the danger, Bob still managed to show the wild and woolly wastelands who was boss. Whoa! Now we're talking! The place was hotter than heck, and all that dang dust had a way of working its way up your, uh, nose. Point is, I was gonna have to get lean and mean if I was fixing to tame anything in that forsaken desert. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Suddenly, I found myself smack in the middle of this scorching, hot desert. No time to worry over how I ended up there or why. All I knew was I had to run for cover. Um, wasn't it too hot to be running around? Am I telling the story or are you? Sorry. Keep going. Anyway, yeah, it was too hot to run around like that. And I burnt myself out quick. I knew I was a goner unless I could scrounge up something to drink, and pronto. Now, before you judge me on this next part, you've got to understand it was a life or death situation. Because when I thought I saw a big whiskey jug sloshing around on six legs, I sort of lost what was left of my pride. And I, uh, well, there's no good way to say this. Took a drink from it. Ew, gross. <laughs> Made that jug bug jump a mile. Not that I blame it. Who'd have guessed something that big could even fly anyway? At least I knew where to find water now. After I had my fill of drinking from bug behinds, I decided to try for one of the camel lizards I saw waddling around that sand pit. It was probably an easier way to break the dumb beast than smacking them upside the head and force feeding them. But that's what worked for me back on the island. Anyways, I guess I finally hit one in its noggin enough time for it to think we were pals. Aww. Reckon I'll spare you knowing how I figured out a way of drinking from those smelly humps. Ugh, nasty! Without warning, the sandstorm kicked up. I'm talking howling wind. Lightning had me going in circles, trying like heck to find a place to hide. Thought I was done for when Humpty dropped dead on me. Until I spotted a cave that looked like the promised land. <sighs> Poor Humpty. I tripped over a bunch of eggs lying around inside and thought I'd hit the jackpot. <sighs> and that's when Mama, an honest to gosh dragon, turned up. <gasps> oh no! She was none too happy about me scrambling up her babies. Bet you barely got out of that one without becoming her breakfast. No scrambled Bob on the menu that day. Right about when I'd almost given up hope, I spotted little Miss Professor again. Somehow she'd wound up in that dust patch with me, which probably meant that the dock was around someplace too. Bet she was glad to see you. Of course, yeah. But now I had someone else to look after, which can be, you know, exhausting. But before I could come up with a plan to save us, this crazy desert witch showed up with a dragon. That dragon witch sure seemed glad I came along when I did. Turned out her town needed a new sheriff on account of the giant bugs that kept attacking the place. What's a sheriff? Someone who'd protect regular townsfolk, whether it was from rustlers, bandits, or, in this case, bug monsters. I didn't have much of a choice, so I let the witch pin a star on me and set me up with a trusty six-shooter. Now that I was the law in that forsaken outpost, I could see I was gonna have to do a bit of pest control. So I called out the biggest bug and told him they best skedaddle before sundown, lest I commence to stepping on them. Now that I had the whole gang's attention, I backed up a few paces and told the gang leader to slap leather. To do what? The figure of speech, darling, means we're about to have us a good old-fashioned shootout. The big bug bandit reached for his pistol, but I had the quicker draw. A couple of his compadres tried to take revenge. 
wasn't much of a fair fight. None of them so much as got a beat on me before I dropped all four of them in the dust with their pal. The rest of them scampered off. So I yelled to the ladies that it was safe to come out. And that's when old Doc Rockwell showed up again. After I stopped the bugs from ransacking that whistle stop, I guess I thought maybe I'd found a place worth building up into something. That's when the witch piped up to tell us why it wasn't worth getting attached to no place there. Oh no, why? Said she and her friends had a regular boom town going across the desert that got blown to heck by something in the sky. She offered to fly us to see the ruins for ourselves. Not sure why I let the professor and the doc talk me into that. After seeing them ruins up close for myself, we decided it probably was time for us to mosey along. We were saying our goodbyes when that thing dropped in. The witch called it a manticore, or maybe a, a manticlops. Anyway, whatever you want to call it, it caused a real ruckus. I like to think we made it sorry for messing with us. But I must have been knocked upside the head during our tussle, because I don't remember the next part so good. Somehow, I was tumbling through the sky again, heading elsewhere in a hurry. And that is all of them. Nice little watch there. I hope you enjoyed it. Good luck finding the notes. Enjoy the story and enjoy the extra five levels. But either way, that is all from me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this one, make sure to check out the next ones on my right and my left side. And have a watch. Uh, there'll be many more videos like this on my channel covering different topics about Ark and the monarchy and much, much more. But apart from that, thank you for watching. Love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!